Hi, my name is Mike Schmidt. I'm the author of Arduino A Quick Start Guide and in this video I'm going to show you how to improve your Christmas decoration with an Arduino and a handful of cheap electronic parts. You probably all know candle holders like this cute little house. They're really nice but they're also a bit annoying because they're made for small tea candles. Putting these tea candles into this candle holder often is a bit cumbersome, especially if they are burning. So I decided to replace the candle light with an artificial light made of a few LEDs and I've also added a speaker that plays jingle bells every 30 minutes. To build the project you only need a few things. First of all you need an Arduino board, for example the new Arduino Uno. Connect the Arduino to your PC with a standard USB cable. You probably have tons of them at home. To build the project you need a breadboard. We only use a few parts so a tiny breadboard is sufficient. You need three LEDs to simulate a candlelight, two yellow ones and a red one. If possible they should be super bright. You cannot use an LED without a resistor. For our three LEDs we need three resistors all having a value of 220 ohms. A cheap and simple pizza buzzer will make the Arduino play jingle bells. With an AC to DC adapter you can run the project without attaching it to your computer's USB port. And finally, to connect all parts you need a couple of wires. Now let's build the project. First of all we connect the three LEDs to the Arduino. An LED has two connectors, a positive one and a negative one. The positive connector usually is a bit longer. Plug all three LEDs into the breadboard as shown on the photo. Although I have used transparent LEDs they still emit red and yellow light. Then put a resistor in front of every LED. The resistors have to be connected to the positive LED connectors. After that use some wires to connect the resistors to digital pins 6, 9 and 10. In a final step we connect all the LED's negative connectors to the Arduino's ground. To make this a bit easier we connect the LED's negative connectors using two short wires. You can see them on the right side of the board. So we only have to connect the negative connector of one LED to the Arduino. The only thing left to do is connecting the speaker. Plug the speaker into the breadboard and connect one of its pins to digital pin number 12 on the Arduino. Connect the other pin to one of the Arduino's ground pins. Before I show you how to make the LEDs flicker, I'd like to show you the effect we'd like to achieve. Here you can see the LEDs flickering. It already looks a bit like a candlelight, doesn't it? You can vastly improve the effect by dimming the light a bit and by adding a piece of paper. The whole effect is done in software and now I'm going to show you how. I will also show you how to bring the speaker to life. Making our LEDs flicker is simple. First of all we define constants for all the pins we have connected LEDs to. In the setup function we turn all these pins into output pins. Also we initialize the random seed because we need some random numbers later on. The Arduino calls the setup function once when it starts so it's a perfect place for initialization processes. In the loop function we set the brightness of our LEDs to a random value and then we wait for a short period of time which is also random. The Arduino calls the loop function over and over again so our LEDs will be set to new values every 1 to 100 milliseconds. The code for playing jingle bells is a bit more complicated. We define constants for the frequencies of all the notes we need to play. Then we define the song's notes as a string of characters. The play music function takes such a string and plays each note using the tone function that is provided by the Arduino IDE. And here we have the final result. Cute, isn't it? If you'd like to learn more about the Arduino, consider having a look at my book titled Arduino A Quick Story Guide. It contains many more fun and useful projects and is available already at my publisher's website. I hope you enjoyed this video and our small project. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.